Hi everyone, so nice to see you guys. How have you been? I have the lovely Tiffany Moore here. Hello everybody. <laughs> it's so great to see you guys. Um, so Tiffany's here all the way from Chicago uh, because I did a concert in the Irish Cultural Centre yesterday, especially for Mother's Day in Canton. So if you ever get a chance to go and visit there, it is stunning. And we had the best time. We did. We had. We had the best time. And shout out to Maudie and, uh, and Aoife and all the staff at the Irish Cultural Centre in Canton. And... Tiffany, we did an amazing uh, with the merchandise as well. We had a love, the prettiest merchandise desk ever. Thanks to Tiffany. So proud of that. <laughs> it was great. It was great. And thanks so much, everyone, for joining Maraid Monday Moments. Here you'll see highlights from the most dearest, I guess, interviews to me, you know, and especially um, just it's lovely to keep in touch with you all. And also... This week, I'm so excited because I have my mother, Kathleen Nesbitt, who is a renowned teacher, lecturer, professor, and um, player, of course. And it's so great to have her interview here now today. And also with members of my family, all my brothers and my sister, Frances. And it's just so special to me. So I thought you might want to see all that as well. And thanks everyone for posting your comments. Ooh, you're here already. Thank you so much. I'm going to put you up here. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. And, um, oh, thanks so much. Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Yesterday was absolutely amazing. It was so great to see you yesterday, Lisa. Lisa is one of my amazing students. Thanks, Lisa. And uh, we had the most amazing time yesterday. It was for Mother's Day. And because also it's American Mother's Day, Irish Mother's Day is actually earlier in the year. And we celebrated that earlier. But because it's Mother's Day and because my mother is so fabulous, uh, hers is the highlighted chat with my dad and my family on today's show. So there you have it. I want to play because everybody asks every week by popular demand, the promo clip for Celtic Spells. And I have some really exciting, exciting news. Celtic Spells is selling for next year. Yes, for 2023 on the West Coast. Are you going to be there? So have a look at my socials. You'll see the ticket link. Um, I was looking at the tickets and they're new. <laughs> I mean, they're selling fast. Oh my goodness. And it is in um, the beautiful Admiral Theatre in Washington, uh, Bremerton. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But get the tickets, guys, and you'll see the amazing Celtic spells. We have been putting this together for the last two years during COVID. So we've recorded everything remotely and also uh, with the fabulous uh, Neil Grover and Patter Townsend orchestrator and uh, Ed Keen Associates, uh, my agent in Boston, and for the music end, I've done the music with Patter and also my amazing brother, Carl Nesbitt. So anyway, here you go. Here is Celtic Spells. I hope you like it. Grab your tickets. You'll see the link in my socials. And also don't forget to follow Celtic Spells on Instagram at Celtic Spells. The link for the tickets are in the profile. So that's really important. So
Did you enjoy that, guys? I, you know, some great questions here. I see, let's see. Is the show going to be in more than just one date? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's going to be a few dates booked either side of that date. And, you know, because it's 2023, we're still booking. So great question. Keep an eye on socials. Keep an eye on um, Celtic Spells on Instagram at Celtic Spells. Okay. Um, so thank you so much for all that. I, you know, I'm so delighted that you all love that. Thank you so much. And, um, here we have, let's see, uh, let's have a look at some of the fills at my shop. Thank you so much for all the comments about the shop. So, so really, really means a lot. It really means a lot to artists that you go and um, support them. And especially after the last two years we've had. So, um, so we have a little offer. I do have a little offer. So this is a surprise. We had beautiful bundles put together. Myself and Tiffany put these together. They're amazing. And we have little bundles here with the custom lanyard and also a ring from Solstice. And that is a lovely little bundle. So anyone who buys bundles of lessons and also really any value of over $50 on my shop, go to the shop. You'll love it. It's a fun site. And the first 10 people to buy anything over $50 will get that bundle. So hope you enjoy that and let's get cracking on these violins. Hi everyone, I'm Mairead Nesbitt. I'm so proud to introduce you to my Celtic violin line. The violins in my Celtic violin collection are named after pieces from my album Hibernia and I can't wait to introduce the line to you all. Absolutely incredible. As you can see, it's just so stunning. excited about this fiddle and this bow from Marie Nesbitt's line of fiddles. This fiddle has completely changed the way I play. I've gotten so much better just in the past six weeks since I've been playing this fiddle. So this violin is my premium violin. It is called Hibernia from my solo album. As you can see, it's a very, very beautiful violin. How stunning is the wood there? It is a gorgeous, sweet, and powerful sound. It really is complemented by these strings, Tomastic Peter Ingvald strings. And they have a wonderful combination of power and sweetness. Very, very elegant, um, both the violin and the strings. The um, Colbert Bridge is um, a very deluxe version and also um, the Whitmer tail piece as well. This instrument is a handcrafted instrument from Prague and it is very, very beautiful as you can see. This violin is called Celtic Dawn and it's also one of my uh, high-end premium models. I really love this violin, the way it's set up. It is very, very similar to my own violin that I play all the time. It is a very, very beautiful, warm, sweet tone, which is what I tend to prefer. The strings, of course, are Thomastic Peter Infield. Very, very beautiful strings, powerful and sweet. Uh, both together, a great combination of power and elegance, which is something that you'll need as an advanced player. I also played this model uh, on my album Hibernia when I recorded it in Ireland. <laughs> Amazing, and it's, I love it so much. I can't. 
This is my reining up model from my Celtic Violin collection. I love this violin. It has got a very warm, mellow tone, almost like a viola tone. I love that kind of tone. I'm very partial to that. The strings are Tomasic Diamond strings, of course, uh, made in Vienna, Austria. They really complement this violin because it is a very, very round, low tone, so it does need that clarity of sound from these strings to also carry it through. This is the second violin in my collection. It's called Invasion. I love this violin. It's got a fantastic Tomastic dominant strings this time, the Whitner Ultra Tape piece. It's got a great bridge, an uh, Oberer bridge. It's a deluxe bridge uh, made in France. Of course, the strings are made in Vienna, Austria. I named this violin Butterfly because I just felt it was a lovely name for the instrument itself. It's a, a youthful name, um, it just evokes flying around the place. It is a piece that I've played um, on stage for many years with Celtic Woman and also there's a version of it on my album Hibernia as well. So I just thought it was a very perfect name for this instrument. The strings, of course, are from Tomastic and Felt in uh, Vienna in Austria. They are the fantastic new string from them called Alpha. So it's Alpha by Tomastic. This tailpiece is a, a Wittner a tailpiece, ultra tailpiece, uh, made in Germany also, uh, over a bridge. I love this violin. It's got um, a beautiful sound. It's powerful. It's clear. Um, it's got a warm sound. Mic is muted, the mic was muted. Woo! I'm glad I saw that. So glad. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thank you so much for letting me um, put up my shop. Some great questions. Who built your violin line? Thanks, Justin. So I um, handpick every violin with an, my amazing luthier, Jeff Salzman, in New York. So everything is, all the violins are made in Europe and we're finished off in New York. And we're really proud of that. And um, all the violins, except the very, very, very starter model are all uh, made in Europe and finished off in New York. And we go through every one. So glad you asked that. Thanks so much. Hi, I like Frida. Hi, Frida and Hi. Tiffany. Tuned in from Norway. So good to see you. My goodness. Hi, Justin, again from Springfield. Lisa, watching you and your family uh, play always renews my passion with my fiddle. I love it. And Lisa has uh, a Hibernia uh, fiddle and she also has the bow. Wow. Yeah. And she has, she has the amazing Kathleen Nesbitt fiddle book, which we love. I love it so much. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? Uh, it's just from the very beginning to very advanced it's absolutely amazing there's nothing it? else like it out there yeah nothing no. no so it's actually amazing and i'm so proud to have my mother on today i'm so i can't wait and i also want to give a big shout out to as well as my mom kathleen nesbitt i want a big shout out to uh the lockmore cottage and mary forkerty who's tuned in thank you so much mary for tuning in i have a comment thanks for tuning in from lockmore mary i love the cottage and we have the interview from the cottage as well today and so excited about that so this next clip is um two tunes from this it they're amazing they're great they're so fun hope you like it here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
I love those tunes. They're really lively. I love them. And I am just delighted to bring you uh, my show. Basically, what Maraid Mondays is about is picking the best from Maraid Monday Moments is about is picking the best from Maraid Mondays and highlighting just um, different uh, interviews and everything. And this is so special to me because actually this um clip is from my very last Moray Mondays. Oh yeah. I did my very last Moray Mondays from Ireland from my parents' house, my family's house, and from beautiful Lockmore. And you'll see all of us here playing and different things happening from my brothers, uh Sean, Michael, Noel, Carl and Blaheen and Caroline and Fiona and the kids, Emma, Tommy, Lily, and my mother and father, John and Kathleen. And um, it's when we all got together uh, recording the family album at home in the house. And I just hope you enjoy it. And this is a chat with my mother, Kathleen. And thanks, um, Sinead. Look, thank you so much. You have uh, another cake of the magic rosin. Thank you so much. Probably be ordering in a month, is it? Is this normal? Mm. Well, you're going through your rosin, but listen, no problem. I have it here for you, uh, Sinead. And thanks so much, Sinead, for your beautiful comment um, back here. If I can find it, look at this. This is gorgeous. I'm so inspired by your mom, Kathleen Aww. Nesbitt. Uh, maybe someday I'll get to meet her. I hope so. I hope so. You have to come to Ireland and come to Tipperary and... Um, you know, have a few tunes with us. And I know that you have the fiddle and you you just have so many things and you also have the fiddle book as well, Sinead. So I know you love it and thank you, thank you so much. So here we go, here's Lockmore, hope you love it. This week, this is my special place for this week, the gorgeous mill of Lockmore. And it's on the River Shore and the lovely, duck house that is home to the ducks here and also the beautiful family of swans that are over on the river shore there having a rest. Hi Mary. Hello Marie. <laughs> How are you? We're delighted oh. to have you here at the cottage Marie. And you're so good every time you're home you call oh. to see us and it's a pure honour and privilege that you call to see us. We just love seeing you. Thank you. Oh Mary, thanks so much everyone. This is Mary from the, the Lockmore Cottage and, and we have we're, we're, we've a few we've written company yes, here. Yes, we've written company here. Lockmore in the county final this coming Sunday. So these are the cottagers. And, and they're <laughs> here all week. And the smiles will go on their faces if they get tickets to the match for Sunday. Oh, so they're waiting and waiting and waiting to see what's going to happen. Oh, did he yeah. need a drop of tea? I think they need, yeah. might need a drop of tea. tea. They might need yeah, a drop yeah, of tea yeah. now and behave themselves <laughs> while we're speaking. Okay. <laughs> oh, Mary, you know, the, the work you've done here is absolutely amazing. You know, the, the, the smiles and there's people looking at us here outside here yeah. and the smiles on everyone's faces. and. The amount of awards you've you've won, the Irish Times Award, the McKenna's multiple McKenna Guy Award, yeah. and it's just amazing, Mary. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Marie. Mm. We're so proud of what we do here. Mm. But I'd like to uh, just say that this is a community project, mm. and it was set up by the community for the community. And the concept is a lovely concept in so far as all the profits go back into the Lockmore Parish, and it's amazing to see the wheels turning. We have it's all embracing in so far as we have people employed here from the parish we have food producers who provide the most amazing uh, food for us and uh, it's lovely to see everybody involved we have people young kids come in to do their work experience yeah. we have volunteers we have people with special needs who come to yeah. work with us yeah. so it's just magic really what happens here at the cottage it is magic mary because every time we we come down and, and of course as i always say it's my favorite place to come every time oh. i'm back and um, it's you know the food from the local farmers That's it. and and just everybody you know bringing in their local produce and uh, as I said a community project it's just beautiful yeah thank you so much Marita and there's nothing like something that's homemade and that's, that's right. for sure <laughs> that's and right. like uh, it's lovely to get the lovely fresh lettuces the lovely fresh vegetables and all our food is fresh and local within a five mile radius of this building 
So that is just, uh, it's wonderful for everybody who comes in to enjoy food with us. It is wonderful, Mary. And you listen, you're just across the road from Lockmore Castle and down the road from the mill. Yes. And it's such a beautiful, beautiful location. Yes, it's location, location, it location, is. that's for sure. <laughs> and we have a lovely little cottage. This was just an old cottage and we renovated it recently. And we uh, just very lovingly restored the interior of it in uh, keeping it in the old style and with the half door and people love the half door and the iconic photograph is of course the one at the half door so but we built on then a modern little sunroom out the back and we extended we provided car parking for people mm. so it's really in a wonderful location all you have to do is walk out this gate to your left you have the mill and the castle up yeah. the road you have the historic mccormick monument the village is just has come alive yeah. it's the heartbeat of the village really yeah. this is and like the builder said to us when he was doing the job, he says, I'm giving it its body, but the community is giving it its soul. That's so, and that's true. It's true. true. The, uh, the atmosphere here is always so lovely and welcoming and heartwarming food. And you couldn't ask for more. You couldn't ask for more. And you're absolutely right. The community is the soul yes. of, of it. And, yes. and also you hosted uh, in, in previous years as well, Culture Night. With Kathleen Nesbitt and all the music yes, here, we did. and um, and it's fabulous, and it's uh, on again tonight as well. Yes, and you know it's uh, Mary. You're always uh, so welcoming to everyone. Everyone, you know, they know they can come here and and just hold the most beautiful events and oh. and, and just sit down and have a lovely cup of tea and coffee and and that lovely apple tart that you have. Uh, thank you, Marie. <laughs> but we love people, yeah. and that I suppose is what is. Is, it shines out here at the cottage. Yeah. Every member of the staff here. We love to see people coming, and they always get the warmest welcome. And we hope they leave feeling better. No yeah. matter how they feel coming in, they'll feel better going yeah. away. Yeah. And that's what we love to do. And it's just so good for everybody, for the whole parish. And we hope that it'll continue for many, many years into the future. That yeah. this facility will be here and not more. We were so suffering from rural isolation and the lack of services mm. a few years ago. And this has brought everything to life. You couldn't come up the village seven years ago and you wouldn't see a car. And now it's life, it's, it's wonderful. It's it just is, wonderful. It is wonderful. And yeah. it, at this time, especially Mary, it's absolutely yeah. amazing that people can sit outside on a beautiful day. You've yeah. the most beautiful wrought iron tables out here and the gorgeous yeah. um, uh, seating and the bath in the sunroom. Yeah. And, you know, no mask needed outside, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, you know, and I just want to yeah. thank you so much, thank Mary, you, again for 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 being on and saying thank hi you. to hi everybody. everybody. <laughs> hi everybody. Hi everybody. I follow you every Monday night, and oh, I've been following goodness. you every Monday night, oh. and it's a, just a pleasure to see you. And the whole parish of Lockmore is so proud of you, Marie. Oh. So proud of you and all you have achieved. You're a wonderful ambassador for not only Lock, for Lockmore, but for everywhere you go, America, no matter where you are. Yeah. And we just feel so honoured to even know you. So oh, thank you very look, much. Mary, thank, thank you. you so much for, mm. for being on and, and bringing us uh, to this, this part of thank paradise. You. Thank brilliant. you very much. Thanks, thank Mary. You. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye <laughs> now. Bye-bye. It was so wonderful to talk to Mary down at the cottage in Lockmore. It's really fantastic to have somewhere like that. And, you know, especially at this time, people can, um, you know, go outside safely um, and, and you know, just, just be, you know, safely in a social distance way um, and, and, and be together. And, you know, thank you so much, Mary, for that wonderful chat. And, you know, I have a lovely, lovely clip from the cottage, actually, because we did culture night there very, very recently. And um, my mother, Kathleen Nesbitt, with uh, the Lockmore Colthus Kjolthori Erin branch of Colthus, um, have their their uh, culture night and also but it was a national thing it was actually a national thing that that, that happened in ireland uh, a few nights ago so we have the kids from the class playing with uh kathleen my mother kathleen and my father john and i'm at the back as well the very back but here are the kids they're fantastic and this is a tune called craig's pipes <laughs>
Oh, weren't they great? That's a gorgeous tune. I love that tune, Craig's Pipes. And, you know, I do have a Celtic spell because in honour of the Devil's Bit family album, Devil's Bit Sessions, the Nesbitt family, um, the Devil's Bit, as I said, is the local mountain to the area. And legend has it that the devil flew over the Devil's Bit mountain. He took a bite out of the mountain and flew over the Rock of Cashel. Well, actually, he flew over Cashel and spat out this piece of rock and made it into the Rock of Cashel. So that's the Celtic spell for today. <laughs> and I just thought it was suitable because it's where we did, you know, the album. And we, you know, uh, climbed every every week, usually every week, every Sunday, we go up the mountain and, and climb, climb the mountain. So it is wonderful and it's a lovely, lovely thing to do. And here I have another gorgeous, gorgeous picture of the tower as well. And that's literally on the way up to the devil's bit also. And I just, uh, it is it is a beautiful thing to do every week and a lovely thing to do as a family as well. So there you go. And um, so let's see here, I'm back. And I just want to play you uh, a few tunes here. We actually recorded this earlier on today in the sunshine. It was fabulous. And it's my brother, Noel Nesbitt, on the flute and myself on the fiddle. And we were just out the back and it was so lovely in the sunshine. And um, we, um, they're just great tunes and we explain what they are as well. And a big shout out to Joni Madden who composed the first tune as well. Enjoy this. Yeah. <laughs> These are great tunes. They are. <laughs> um, um, the first one, I think, is Joni Madden wrote it. Yeah, The Cat's Meow, is it? Cat's Meow, yeah. Shout out to Joni. Hey, Joni. And then the... The Humours of Glen. Humours of Glen. The Humours of Glen. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Try twice we'll each? Try, we'll try twice Yeah, each. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
I love playing those tunes and know you're on. <laughs> We're great fun doing those. And, you know, I'm so, so honored to have, you know, my special guests, all my family on, but especially my mother and father. And my mother, of course, is Kathleen Nesbitt. Uh, she's a renowned um, educator. And of course, my father is as well. And I just want to talk a little bit about Kathleen Nesbitt first. Kathleen Nesbitt was born in Roscommon, South Sligo, Leitrim area, which is renowned for fiddle playing. Her mother and uncle were both fiddle players, and as a child, she was steeped in the local tradition. Inspiring and renowned musicians of the area, as well as Tipperary and Clare, influenced her at this time and made a lasting impression on the young fiddle player. In Dublin at Church Street and the Piper's Club, she and her husband John were part of a rich and rewarding era in Irish music. She won the Oireachtas Gold Medal for Fiddle and with her husband John won the Oireachtas Duet competition at a time when the list of competitors read like the who's who of Irish music. She was at this time an early member of the Castle Cayley Band, and moving to Tipperary shortly after, she began teaching music and became one of the most well-known teachers in Ireland and worldwide. Her pupils in Lockmore have won honours at all levels in fiddle, band and group playing. And in 1983, she taught at Scolaitia the intensive master classes run prior to Flakion the Heron by Colts Kilthory Aaron. Kathleen's a professor and lecturer on the TTCT Irish Music Teaching Course at Cultural in the Heron, Dublin, Ireland, and is instrumental in Irish traditional music being on a par with classical music in graded exams in schools in Ireland. This year, we'd love to congratulate my mom, Kathleen, for being awarded the Gratham on Coltish Lifetime Achievement Award for her contribution to music, education and culture, the highest possible award and you know with my dad I can't tell you the the how how lucky we feel as a family to have the amount of music that we were able to soak up as kids growing up and um, they're just walking encyclopedias of music and you know it's just absolutely amazing I have another gem for you this is an amazing group of tunes and um, it's with uh, of course Kathleen Nesbitt she's in the middle and I'm there as well and my sister Frances Nesbitt and we did this beautiful um, group of tunes on a fantastic uh, RTE program called uh, Gantry so I hope you enjoy this
is here. Here she is. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to say first, ma'am, the amount of people, the amount of, of students, my students who have your fiddle book and, and, and just love it. And, and of course I love it. You know, it's, it's really, um, what a resource, you know, and it's, it's just fantastic, ma'am. You really, well, thanks for it. It was a dream of mine, you know, really for yeah. years and years back because I, I was teach, uh, teaching for over 50 years. It was a dream to produce something clear and concise and graded for young teachers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I didn't have it myself when I was young. Yeah. And um, that was uh, my motivation for, for starting yeah. the book. Yeah. And, you know, for me uh, to, to be able to, to dip into uh, Fiddle, you know, and, and of course the, the beautiful design in the front of course is by Caroline Nesbitt of Designedly and it's just so beautiful and you know ma'am for me to to be able to to dip in as I said and and everyone on Raid Mondays knows that I always do a tune from my ma'am's book. You're very good, <laughs> very good. I do, I do, and you know, and it's it's fabulous. My pupils and some some of them are, um, and of course all of them are very amazing on social media, and they'll have they'll, um, you know, we'll we'll have done uh, in my lessons, we'll have done a tune from your book, and they'll have it up on their Instagram, you know, the next day, and lovely ornamentation and the bowings in your book and everything, and of course the beginning of the book is very very informative for the ornamentation as well. Yes, indeed. And mm -hmm. um, I decided to approach the ornamentation by is isolating each ornament in a tune. Yeah. There, uh, in other words, taking away all the other ornaments out of the tune yeah. and highlighting a particular ornament. And then, of course, when um, the student or the teacher um, had done the tune, then they could put back their other ornaments. Yes. But it did yes. highlight uh, each ornament separately, which I thought well, I thought it was a good way to approach it. Absolutely, you know, um, and, and you know that's difficult to do because you have your your you yes. want to put in all the ornaments, yes. but you're you're trying to explain one ornament, and it's just uh, the 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 chapter two on the modes, the chapter on O'Carlin. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's so much in the book, and I think we just wanted to just I wanted to bring you on anyway, ma'am, but of course, and and also everyone just wants to say how. They, how much they love the book, you know, and and there's lots of comments coming up here. Wouldn't be without it. <laughs> there's there's people the world over who have who have your book, and um, it's it's really wonderful. And do you know, myself and Michael played a tune um, earlier this week, and we decided we'd uh, pick the basket of turf. Um, oh, that yes. that tune, and mm. it's it's on page. 32 of the book everybody and also we did McKenna's um there's a oh, nice tune a lovely jig yeah lovely jig Absolutely. and that's that's on page 67 as well so we did it because we had the we were uh, around this beautiful fire and you'll see Joey the cat going in and out so enjoy this <laughs>
We're having great fun watching that. <laughs> and this is Dad, this is John Nesbitt. And so um, we, you know, we were just talking earlier on, weren't we, about, about doing the album here in this very room, oh, Dad. Yes, yes, it's a great that, honor and privilege. You know, but, great achievement. But, but yeah, yeah. And, and, and then and Brian Masterson here and yes. Nate. Oh, and yes, Brian yes, was so yes, good. Yes. Yeah, and three mm. generations of us all. And you grew up playing, uh, like, I mean, oh, Nana, yes. Nana, your mother, uh, I remember her playing the fiddle here in this room, Absolutely, Dad. Absolutely, yeah. You know, yeah. and and just just for us all to kind of get together in this room and you know do the album. Now it was, you know, it was. It was scary. It was scary. It was scary. Because we had a weekend to do it. Yes. With a weekend, yes. and what a weekend it was, and yeah. we even got to get up the devil's bit as well on the Sunday as well, yeah. and we got to out to Templemore Park. And uh, we were trying to get a bit of a bit of breathers be between yeah. the the recordings. We were down the cottage as well. Yes, that's yeah. right. Oh, yeah. just, just it was amazing. Full yeah, on. Really. <laughs> it was full that's on. Great. And we, you know, we also did Kaylee House. Do you remember Kaylee House being oh, here? Oh yes, yeah. uh, Kieran. Kieran Hanra. Yeah. Yes. Kieran Hanra and Kieran Dan. Honor to have here, yeah, you know, yeah, and and um, uh, with yeah. RT, and oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah. And we 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 had a great time. And you know what? We have we have a little a little clip, and I think we might have another one too. Enjoy this. Father Yelly, I guess we'll get for this dark height, Chaka Kelly. Welcome to Kelly House and no applause at the start of the programme tonight. There's a very good reason for that actually because we're here uh, in the sitting room of the home of John and Kathleen Nesbitt just outside Lockmore in County Tipperary. We haven't room for an audience here because uh, we are literally surrounded by the extended Nesbitt family and we're here because well we met the internationally renowned fiddle and violin player Maureen Nesbitt quite recently who was celebrating the launch of her own album but she told us that her parents and family had come together recently to record a new CD. The entire family, it was made right here in this room. So Maureen said, you should come down sometime. Now, we're delighted to be here because this is the sometime. And I have to say, uh, I met Kathleen on a few occasions over the years and we had said we must do this sometime. So we're delighted to be in the home uh, here of the Nesbitt family tonight for Katie House. Oh, that was fantastic. And the interviews as well that, that, that were done that day were amazing yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah they were. Yeah. And we had some, such great, great fun, you know. And um, I think we have, we do have another clip. If I can just find it, everyone, for you. <laughs> we're, we're kind of snuggly, snuggly <laughs> here. We're at. So this is another group of tunes from Kaylee House. Shout out to Kieran Hanneran. Kieran, we love you. And, you know, it was just an honor, as my dad said, to have yeah, you down here. Definitely. And uh, um, here we go. Here's another set of tunes. <laughs> Another 
Nice. We we love that. We love we love that tune. Their favorite tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I know. Yeah. <laughs> and oh. Kieran, Kieran had been uh, asking me uh, for years, saying, yeah. um, "When are we going to do Katie House?" And yeah. I never thought we'd end up actually doing it no, in our own room. I know at yeah. home. Mm. Yeah, it's it's the best place to do it, though. It was. <laughs> oh yeah. You know. Well. Yeah, yeah, it really did. And and yeah. and they had a great time. They went to the cottage earlier on uh, before that day as well. Yeah, they did. Yeah. And yeah, um, nice they had a, a great day. They had their lunch and uh, they came here and they set up and mm. it was fantastic. Uh -huh. And another great time I have to say that we had everybody was with Fla TV. And you know it was just amazing to go down all of us together and and, yeah. and go down there. <laughs> that was, oh, that was, a, that was some I, experience. I think that's Dad's favourite oh, one. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> that was the highlight of our musical. I know. Journey. I know. I know. It was fantastic, wasn't yeah. it? It was yeah. just brilliant fun. Yeah. We all going down the convoy of cars, and mm. and I think we were on uh, John Creedon's program. We were earlier, earlier in the day. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. And John had had he he had an interview with you, wasn't it? Mm. That's right. Yeah, that's an right. interview. I think we both spoke to him. Yeah, and 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 then of course Tommy uh, joined and us Tommy there for, there for the concertina. concertina. Yes. And um, you know, is mm. it was just just fantastic. And yeah. you know what? Um, you know, I what a fitting uh, last episode with my family, everybody, and you know, I'm just. So I uh, feel so lucky to be here, especially at this time and to be here with my family and to be able to, to do this. You know, I'm yeah. very, very lucky after the, the period of uh, isolation and everything. And, you yeah. know, we just want to say, um, you know, loads of love to you out there. Yeah. Be safe and uh, uh, uh you know as as much as possible be safe and and be well and uh but we've lots more for you don't go away but we just wanted to say that because um we're very um i'm very very thankful that uh, you know that i could do the last episode here so anyway listen we're going to play this flat tv for you because after this we have a selection of tunes for you outside and actually <laughs> Noel and, and, and Carl set up as well and Francis and you know we have another selection of tunes but turn up the volume on this guys because there's a big 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 massive crowd remember right. the crowd yes. oh right. fantastic yes. crowd. absolutely amazing mm. wasn't it yes. they yes. just they were fabulous mm. they were fantastic mm. and so turn up the volume <laughs>
thank you everyone so so very much wow 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 the comments have been so amazing thank you thank you thank you and you know it's it's um it's been fantastic for me and you know keep an eye out for my new podcast coming up celtic spells that's going to be um stories and it'll be stories for the fall and the winter cozy evenings and i just want to thank you all so much everybody but i have more coming up so here we go <laughs> All right. All I'm back at the cottage and I was here earlier interviewing Mary of the cottage in Lockmore and I really want to thank Mary for that chat and also I want to thank you all out there for tuning in on YouTube and on Facebook and on my podcast Maraid Mondays chats tunes and crack this is my 20th episode and my last one and I really want to thank my special guests Kathleen Nesbitt and John Nesbitt and all my family, the Nesbitt family, for making it so special today. And tune in to MaraidNesbittViolin.com to check out all the exciting projects coming up. I'm so excited to share lots of exciting news with you. And it's a beautiful day today and I'm just going to play a lovely tune for you. This is Thomas Moore's The Last Rose of Summer.
muted. And there's the mic is muted. Sorry, guys. Anyway, just want to thank Aww. Tiffany again for being here. And thank you all so much for being here. And this bundle is going to go to the first 10 people who order something from the website. And make sure it's over $50 because we have a piece of jewelry in there. So I hope you love that. And also loved the tunes from my mother's fiddle book. And, you know, have a look at the website, everyone. And it's so great to see you all. Thanks to Mary from Lockmore Cottage. It is just always amazing to be there. And thanks so much to my mom, Kathleen Nesbitt, and my dad, John Nesbitt, and all the family for being on today. And thank you, everybody. Let's have a few more comments. Thank you so much, everyone. So great to see you all. And... I'll see you next week from Raid Mondays. Mind yourselves. Bye.